Hey, welcome back. I've been putting this off for many months now, but I can't wait any longer. I need to replace my aquas wall and rescape my three-year-old tank. So today I'm going to completely tear down my aquarium, create a cheap and comfortable holding tanks for all my animals and plants, and do it all in about 45 minutes. So come join me for this very messy ride. I've had this aquarium for three years now. The soil is somewhat depleted. The carpeting plants are dislodged. Some plants are not getting enough nutrients. And to be honest, I'm ready for a whole new design here. I've been putting this off for a long time because it's just so time consuming and messy. And there are so many moving parts, including the filming of this, which just takes about three times longer. However, I've had a lot of time to prepare. I've got new hardscape material, equipment, and aqua soil, and I'm ready to start this big project. So the first thing we need to do is turn off all the filters and unattach all the life support equipment. Next, I'm going to prepare two pails and one plastic tub because that will be my temporary aquarium. The first pail will be for all the plants and the second pail will be for all the animals. I'll also be filling them all with old tank water so the water parameters will be very stable. I'm setting my room temperature to the mid 20 degrees or around mid 70 Fahrenheit so that the water in the pails don't cool down. It is fall now and my room can cool fairly quickly. All right, here we go, wish me luck. I'm going to start by taking out all the easy stuff first. Then I'm going to pull out all the stem plants. And next I'll remove all the epiphytes, the Nubius, Bucephalandra, and Java fern. And now for the hardscape with all the remainder plants that still attach. Next, I'm going to drain the water to the height of my net so that I can catch all the animals relatively quickly. I'm going to leave the big net in one place while I use my scary hand technique to corral all the critters into the net. The faster I catch them and put them in the pail, the less that they'll be stressed. Now I have to be careful here because there are a lot of very small baby shrimp and I don't want to miss any of them. I do need to work fast here because I want to catch all these animals as quickly as possible to minimize as much stress for all this moving and migration. I'm also really worried that I'm going to miss a few small baby shrimp and they get thrown out with the bathwater, so to speak. Okay, I think I've done the best I can here. This is a quick update. I actually spent two more days looking into my tank and found endless amounts of baby shrimp. All in all, I would say there was actually a hundred more or so baby shrimp that I netted out in small groups over the next couple of days. Okay, now back to the video. So what I'm going to do next is take the old soil, which is still usable, and use it in the temporary container. There's lots of beneficial bacteria in this soil, and also lots of microorganisms for the shrimp and the fish to feed on, and it will give me somewhere to plant the stem plants as well. And I'm going to plant this holding tub like a normal aquarium because the animals and plants are going to be in there for a few weeks. And this way I can take my time setting up my new tank, think about the design I want to create here, let it cycle, and also think about all the filming aspects of it. There's, there's quite a few moving parts. I'm setting up both my filters in the holding tank so that the beneficial bacteria colony is kept alive. But more importantly, when the other tank is rescaped, I can leave one here and use my canister filter to cycle the new tank. This has been a very long past two days. There has been so much work involved and it has also been quite messy. 
However, there were no major issues and all the plants and animals are actually settling in quite nicely in their temporary home. But we are not even close to being done yet. Because now the main thing for me to do is think about a new design. And after that I have to plant it and then cycle it and then put all the animals back in. And all this will be in the next coming video, so stay tuned for that. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for stopping by.